You're watching, old mates. Backyard Tech. Right. Now, as we know, we're undertaking a bit of a troubleshooting video series on this HP Pavilion DM4 Beats audio laptop with Casey and Linux on it. Well, it's now been installed twice when you think about it. Yesterday, we, we started off the troubleshooting video in two parts. Part one, after the original hard drive in this failed, we replaced the drive. Part two, we ran some hard drive and mem tests. They all came back good, yet this thing is not powering off. It's time for server PC stuff here at Old Mates Backyard Tech for a Tuesday slash laptop video as well. For this one, a couple of theories that have uh, cropped up based on comments from yesterday's two videos, but also a theory of what exactly is going on from Old Mates' point of view. And I reckon I'm just going to deal with it. Here at Old Mates Backyard Tech, it's time for server PC stuff. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is time for server PC stuff again here at Old Mates Backyard Tech slash laptop. Continuing with our troubleshooting series, this part three, some theories I'm working on. And that's how we're going to title this video. Now, yesterday we found out that we had a dead hard drive and we replaced it. That was part one, reinstalled Casey and Linux. It came up well, still would not power off. In part two, we ran some tests only to discover that the CPU's temperature has gone through the roof sky high. That shouldn't really affect it. Now, some people have suggested hard drive trouble, which is true. We've noticed that it's far better and more stable on the Seagate drive than it was on the Toshiba drive. Some people have suggested an incompatibility between the operating system and the hardware. Now, from a, from a Debian Linux point of view, that's the first time I've ever had that happen to me. But I have a theory about what's going on, and I'm going to throw a spanner in the works. So first off, let's throw a spanner in the works then. Here's the kicker. It will reboot properly, and it will hibernate properly. It will not power off. It will reboot properly. It will hibernate properly. It will not power off properly. Now... Let me explain one of the theories I'm working on, which would agree with, I mean, it might be Ram Francis UK or Steve Douglas, one of them, I can't remember who it was, who suggested, or even Gaz Young, suggested an incompatibility between the hardware and the software. Now that incompatibility could be the power off term signal. Possibly. I'd, I'd be surprised, but it's possible. Now, to use the example here to make it easier for some people to understand, actually, 99.9% .9 of people to understand, all right? We're going to use the analogy of a home theater amp. All right, so we'll apply, apply a KIWS scenario here. We know with a home theater amp, you have two power circuits. You have the standby and the mains. When you plug your power amp in, right, most of them will come into standby mode, which is the first system in the power train, for want of a better term. You grab the remote, you hit the power button on the remote, the soft start tells the main relay to kick up the mains power. Your amp's on. Okay? You listen to your amp, you do whatever, then you turn it off. You grab the power button on the remote and the remote tells the onboard CPU, kill that relay and the soft start stays on. Okay. Well, what's happening here with power off on that laptop is, is that the remote control, so shutdown in the shutdown command, the remote control is saying, turn off. The IR sensor is getting the command to turn off, but something's stopping it, shutting down that mains power relay. Now, remember with a power amp, you have two clicks on most, sorry, not a power amp, a home theater amp, you have two clicks. You have the mains click and the speaker protect click. Well, in this case, we can use the analogy of 
the speaker relay click is the hard drive going into a spin mode only, so the heads are not doing anything, the hard drive's not being polled. And the mains power relay being the home theater amps processor telling the power relay to disengage. Something is getting stuck. Right? So it reboots perfectly. It hibernates perfectly. It won't shut down. Now, incompatibility with the hardware, this will be the first time that's ever happened to me with a Linux operating system, especially a Debian-based one. That doesn't happen to me. Not with Debian. All right? So, my theory at the moment is is that when it's getting to um, send term power off, what's happening is, is that the system, the hard drive's effectively being, it's just spinning. Nothing's happening. There's no polling of the hard drive. There's no nothing. So it's like the entire data sector of the hard drive has just been put into effectively park, and the only thing going is the spindle motor. All right, that's it. Nothing else. And the screen's staying on. But everything else, like the keyboard's off, the, um, the Wi-Fi light won't even disengage, right? Everything's being turned off. It's just that the power side of the entire laptop is not shutting down. Yet reboot and hibernate work. So what options does that leave me with? Okay, remember when you, and you can do this with macOS, you can do it with Windows, you can do it with Linux, and also that other terrible operating system that uh, I did not use properly in any way, shape, or form. Did not use it for what it was supposed to be used for and got howled on because I used it my way. Remember when you shut those OSs down as a hard shutdown, so you hold the power button in. MacOS will say, look, you've got a little bit of a problem. Do you want to do a refresh on your startup? Yes. We know with Windows, all hell breaks loose. You'll have B sods. You'll have errors. It'll go off and check C drive or D drive or cache or what have you. Linux and that, I'm not allowed to use that operating system my way, will say, you know, um, the system was not shut down properly, you know, cleaning up orphan files or bad boot blocks or whatever. Linux and that other OS, right? They'll all do that, all right? If you do it enough times, you'll corrupt the hard drive, and it doesn't matter whether it's Mac OS, Windows, Linux, or that other operating system I'm not allowed to use for my own purposes in my own way. That's not happening with that laptop. Because when it gets to that power off term and then just holds... Because the hard drive effectively has been, or the, 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 the data side of the hard drive has effectively been shut down, when I do go to boot it back up, it just boots up like it has been. Yes, you get the ACPI errors, don't care. Yes, I get the VMX error, don't care, because I've turned virtualization off at the moment, which both means QEMU and VirtualBox don't run. Don't care, don't need them. <clears throat> so my theory is the fact that when when you issue a reboot command it's able to process the reboot command when you issue <coughs> excuse me when you issue a you know I've just forgotten my train of thought then rewind reality take two when you issue a reboot command, it's able to process that reboot command correctly. When you issue a hibernate command, which is shut the lid, it does it perfectly. It's when you issue the power off command that the entire, whether it's the BIOS, whether it's the CMOS, whether it's the chipset, I don't know. All right. When you issue that command, 
it effectively is, is, is turning off everything that's required to be turned off, stalling everything that's supposed to be stalled, but the power system is not being turned off. Now, because when I when it gets to that power off terminology and nothing happens, and then I hit the hold the power button and it finally shuts down and I restart it, I'm not getting that you know orphan files or bad boot block realignment or you know so many files are out of alignment. I'm not getting that. It's it's not there, which makes me think that there may be a bit of a hardware problem. A little bit of a mismatch between Kazian and the hardware. All right. So having said all that, what's one of my other theories I'm working on at the moment? I leave it. Now, the Linux purists out there can shove their ideas right up their backside of me creating a custom shutdown system that bypasses all that because forget it. My theory at the moment is leave it as it is. If it is getting to that shutdown thing of power off and it's just not powering off and I hold the power off button and it comes up all right every time, I can leave it that way. Or I can just hibernate it all the time. As I said, that's only a theory. That's going to need a lot more of me using it more often to figure stuff out to find out whether or not I am getting that issue. Okay. So that's my theory. Now, is that a good theory? Probably not. Tell me a theory that's a good theory all the time. You know, we always say this. In theory, everything works until you actually put it into practice and it all just, you know, bowled a Yorker and took out middle, middle stump top scenario. But that's the theory I'm working on. Now, if that theory proves to be a workable theory, then I'm leaving it. It works, it'll do what I want it to do. There's no point doing any further modifications or mucking around with it. If that theory does not work, then I've got to think of something else. As far as Kazian running on that laptop, it runs really well. I mean, it's not fast, obviously. I mean, you're only talking about a dual core quad thread i5 and eight gig of RAM, but it is fully usable. In actual fact, uh, it plays 1080p 60 quite well surprisingly well actually for a second gen core i5 laptop that exact that's not exactly high spec so from that point of view and just that point of view it's it'll be fine if the theory is that it's getting that power off term and it's just not powering down and i hit the power button as long as i'm not getting hard drive errors i'll just leave it Now, if I start getting hard drive errors, well, then we've got to think of something else. The other option is hibernation and just hibernate it or set up sleep or something like that and have it do it when I shut the screen and turn back on with the power button. All right. If, if either of those theories come true and it's perfectly fine, I will just leave it and use it as is. But they're the theories I'm working on. So some of the comments made, and I thank Gaz Young Online, Ram Francis UK, Steve Douglas, other people. It's, it's possible it's a combination of both what I believe it to be, which is a purely hardware problem, and a possible incompatibility with Kazian Linux. But if it turns out that I can use it in its current state with no problem, job done. I'll just leave it. No point mucking around with it. If it ends up working, why fix it? Now, I know what's going to happen. People are going to be, oh, you should be writing a custom, you know, cron script or a custom piece of, you know, get into the kernel and rewrite the kernel. Stuff it. If it works and I can use it in its current thing, oh, explain to me the problem. If it hibernates or sleeps properly, where's the issue? I can't see one, but that they're only theories. That, that Those two theories are gonna take some time to work through. Don't get me wrong, it's not gonna be right. By tomorrow, I'm like, right, theory sorted out. 
We're going to have to go through all those theories before we settle on it. But if it does turn out that I can get away with sleep slash hibernate, or that, yes, all right, you got to do it like an old IBM PS2 and physically turn it on and off, you know, the old Windows 95 days of park the hard drive, or DOS days of park the hard drive and turn it off, I'm quite happy with that. Does it add time? It adds time. Who cares? Seriously. I mean, is it really that much of a pain? To some of you out there, it, it'll be unbelievably painful. For old mate, don't care. So we'll see how those theories go, all right? So we've still got more, more parts in this troubleshooting video series to go for, but for part three, I wanted to explain some of the theories I'm working on. And as I said, some of them could be quite true. There could be a bit of a mismatch between Kazian and the hardware. It could be purely a hardware issue. Something's getting confused between the power on, between the soft start and the power system. But if it hibernates slash sleeps all right, do I really need to worry? We'll have to find that out. There we are. Part three of our troubleshooting series on the DM4 Beats Audio laptop. Stick around. We've got a coffee chat and we've got some 80 series stuff coming up. Have a good one. This has been an Old Mate's Backyard Tech presentation.